Hey, I'm checking Johnny, and there's a whole lot going on here at the Diamond in the Rough. I got Mama Goose over here, and she's cutting up peppers, and then she's putting those in the second seal. Look at that watermelon over there. That's for dessert. We'll have to chill it down. But she's cutting these up, and then she's going to second seal them and save them. That's a few of them. She's already put up probably a bushel and a half or so. Then over here, I got apples. They're uh, blanching in the um, in the pot. I've got some more over here that I'm cutting up to make applesauce out of. And then we got about eight quarts of already sauced applesauce. Got some jalapenos there. And I'm going to show you the process of how we do this in just a moment. So we got a bunch of apples here off the apple tree, but they've got some imperfections in them, so we're making sauce out of them. And all we have to do is cut those imperfections out, and you got a good apple underneath it. We want to quarter these. Now, I don't care if we've got stems and cores in them, that's fine, because we've got a fancy tool to take those out. But we'll just kind of go through here quickly and get rid of any bad areas. There's a little bit of rot in there. And because we've got more apples than we need, I'm not too worried about how much of the apple I eliminate. You see this rust on the top and everything, that doesn't matter. That's not going to hurt anything. And if you've got little superficial blemishes like that, they don't hurt anything. That's just in the skin. And that's going to come off in a couple steps ahead. But when you got a bruise, just take it out. If you get a little bit of bruised stuff in there, it doesn't matter because when you cook it, it's going to come out of there anyway. Just keep your fingers out of the way of the knife, that's all. Alright, so after we cut them up, we put them in a pot of boiling water. We let let them sit in there for about five to ten minutes and they get soft and we're just going to take them out and generally I try to do this when Mama Goose isn't around because it makes a little bit of a mess that's okay he's going to be cleaning it up anyways I always do so then we're going to put it into the mill and I'm going to get the rest of these out so that I can put the next load in. Need to buy a bigger spoon apples in there to start boiling down. We'll take this one, we'll dump it into the hopper, then I turn the crank, press the apples in. You see the foul is coming out this side, that's the offal or the waste, and then the applesauce is coming through on this side. My kitchen smells really good right now. If you've got the apples soft enough, that this goes through really well. If they're a little bit undercooked, it takes a little bit more effort to put them through. If they're too far cooked, 
um, then you get really liquidy applesauce. And the red apples that we have, those are a uh, red delicious, and they um, they cook down faster. Now, once I've run these through, I'm going to take this awful product, the, the waste product, and I'm going to run it through again. And you watch how much additional applesauce we get by doing that. It doesn't take very long to do it. I'll end up with maybe a pint, half a pint to a pint of applesauce just from rerunning that. Now that was two batches of apples, two hoppers full that I ran the uh, waste product from. And then, so this is your seeds, cores, and skins. And all of this is going to go to our chickens. And what you're left with is beautiful, beautiful applesauce. I think in all of them that we've done, that's the first seed that I've seen come through. Okay, so we'll come back and show you the next step when we finish up with this. We'll be back. And Lisa brought me in more peppers, more tomatoes and cucumbers. This whole thing of tomatoes and cucumbers. And a pumpkin. And that whole thing of peppers. And a pumpkin, pumpkin. that I'm going to eat for lunch. Get your apples in there to start boiling down. We'll take this one, we'll dump it into the hopper. Then I turn the crank. Press the apples in. You see the fowl is coming out this side. That's the offal or the waste. And then the applesauce is coming through on this side. My kitchen smells really good right now. If you've got the apples soft enough, that this goes through really well. If they're a little bit undercooked, it takes a little bit more effort to put them through. If they're too far cooked, um, then you get really liquidy applesauce. And the red apples that we have, those are uh, red delicious, and they um, they cook down faster. Now, once I've run these through, I'm going to take this awful product, the, the waste product, and I'm going to run it through again. And you watch how much additional applesauce we get by doing that. And it doesn't take very long to do it. I'll end up with maybe a pint, half a pint to a pint of applesauce just from rerunning that. Now that was two batches of apples, two hoppers full, that I ran the uh, waste product from. And then, so this is your seeds, cores, and skins. And all of this is going to go to our chickens. And what you're left with is beautiful Beautiful applesauce. Yep. I think in all of them that we've done, that's the first seed that I've seen come through. Okay. So we'll come back and show you the next step when we finish up with this. We'll be back. And Lisa 
brought me in more peppers, more tomatoes and cucumbers. This whole thing of tomatoes and cucumbers. And a pumpkin. And that whole thing of peppers. And a pumpkin, pumpkin. that I'm going to eat for lunch. Well, I didn't film the actual jarring up of the applesauce. Um, we just jarred it up. I had some uh, pint and some quart jars that we uh, we put it into. And what you have to do is get the applesauce hot. And then you put it into the jar. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Put your lid on and then put it into the canning uh, hot bath. And... Once you've got the hot bath to a boil, with apples, uh, pints, they say 15 minutes, quarts, they say 20 minutes. So let me show you what we got. There's uh, nine of these pint containers, and then I've got a dozen of the quart. Now this one is not full because we, we didn't have enough to fill it, so we'll use this one right away. The rest of these are filled up to the top. Looks pretty good. And Mama Goose is peeling some garlic there. Say hi. Hi. Well, actually, say goodbye, because we're done for today, at least with the uh, videotaping. I'm going to... Uh, See if I can put this all together, get it edited, and get it out. I'm Chicken Johnny, and Mitzer Shem, I'll see you again. Eat your vegetables.